Welcome to Insta Legal. Nowadays, whenever you go to any advocate to seeking any kind of an advice, the first thing the advocate would tell you is to send a legal notice. Now, the main question which arises in the mind of a person who is seeking the advice is, why should I send a legal notice? Why should I not go ahead and file a case against that person? So to answer this question, it is very important for us to understand what is a legal notice. A legal notice is a written document sent by one party to another through an advocate detailing the grievance or the dispute or demanding to do a particular act or omit to do something failure of which would entail legal consequences. It is mainly a warning letter showing the intention of the party sending the letter to proceed legally if the dispute is not resolved amicably. It is basically a formal notice which would also become a basis of your litigation in future in the event of failure of other party to comply with the demand which is mentioned in the legal notice. Why the advocates are advising nowadays to send a legal notice before proceeding legally. Basically, the legal notice is required to be sent to another party as a final warning and to make clear the intention to proceed legally in a situation where the compliance required to be made is not fulfilled. Nowadays, the litigation has been hit very badly during the corona also and it is not easier to approach the court by filing any kind of a suit or any kind of a consumer case as well because the courts are not functioning properly. So what are basically the situations where a legal notice is imperative to be sent? Situations could be where there is a breach of a contract between the parties, there's a deficiency in service, there's a non-payment of rent by the tenant, there are employer-employee issues regarding completion of resignation formalities or non-payment uh, of salary. There could be a situation where the registered trademark or the registered IP has been used in a wrongful manner. So there could be a cease and desist for using of a registered trademark or any IP in a case of a defamation, a refund of a friendly, a refund of friendly loan, check bounce cases, all kind of consumer disputes, etc. Rather, in some situations, in fact, even under the in Civil Procedure Code under Section 80, if you are proceeding legally against the government, you are required to send a legal notice. A formal notice is required to be sent to the government showing now what are the contents of a legal notice. The entire factual situation must be forthcoming in the legal notice body. It should detail the grievance and the mode of negotiation, act, omission, necessary compliance that is required to be made the demand raised fulfillment of a personal duty, etc. It must provide in clear terms the reason for sending this legal notice, the specific timeline for performance or reply of the notice being sent. The legal notice can be issued by all modes of communication. That is, it could be sent by speed post, by an email if you have a correct email address of the other party, by WhatsApp, the Supreme Court says the blue tick which is there on the WhatsApp would may, uh, render the compliance courier, registered AD or even by hand where a receiving has been taken. The legal notice is very important document nowadays and it is important to send a legal notice to make the other party aware that if you do not function or if you do not comply or you do not amicably settle the dispute, then I will proceed legally and I will take all civil or criminal action as that can be taken in a particular situation. Thank you very much.